Good morning, Your Honor. At 1.17 p.m., the fire department received the report of a fire at 614 May Street and dispatched a first alarm assignment, two engines, one truck, one rescue, and a battalion chief. The first arriving company arrived shortly thereafter and reported seeing dense black smoke from the eaves and the roof vents of the house. The first two engine company proceeded to the northeast corner sides of Alpha and Delta of the home and forced open the door. Crews advancing hand lines quickly discovered the fire involved an area around the TV in the living room. The structure had minor smoke conditions with good visibility throughout the house. Units found heavy to moderate smoke conditions in the living room area, giving it zero visibility. Search and rescue operations were abandoned because the family arrived stating that they just came from the store and no one was home. After crews mounted an interior attack using the inch three quarter attack lines, the fire was declared under control. <clears throat> um, while the lieutenant was completing paperwork and the crew uh, reloaded the hose, dispatch issued a full alarm assignment to a structure fire with the children trapped three blocks away. Crews quickly finished loading the hose and report, responded to the fire, leaving the scene un unsecured. Um, as a fire investigator, uh, but my arrival with the family was gone and made entry into the structure uh, to begin the investigation. Um, began photographing the structure from the exterior of, to the interior while examining uh, some of the evidence. Uh, noted personal items uh, appeared to be missing and the house appeared to be staged with old furniture and a broken TV. But on further investigation, uh, you noted some, some type of uh, device melted behind the TV. Um, Regarding the violation of the defendant's Fourth Amendment rights, I would ask that you refrain from suppressing the evidence collected. Uh, the fire chief and other designees are charged with finding the cause and determination of any fire within this municipality. While I understand the importance of chain of custody in this case, it, is very, it was very difficult to maintain as crews were working in good faith prior to the uh, exigent uh, event of the second fire occurring uh, with a known life safety risk three blocks away. The Fourth Amendment does establish the right of the people to be secure from unreasonable search and seizures and no warrant um, be issued by, by probable cause. The Fourth Amendment does not convey that police must have a search warrant. However, probable cause must be, uh, must exist. And I believe that with my training experience, I can provide the probable cause that would allow the evidence to be admissible in court. Once probable cause was determined, I contacted law enforcement with my intention. I believe the evidence and affidavit from all parties involved will be substantial in this case. I will offer that, as you know, as evidence in law. Um, I will offer that, as you know, um, evidence in law um, is, an item, is an item in which a litigant proffers to make existence of a fact uh, more or less probable. The chain of custody will come into play uh, after um, after all that is about. Um, for uh, demonstrative purposes, um, I have um, looked at exceptions for the Fourth Amendment rights, um, which I've uh, uh, attached to um, to the transcript. Uh, a couple things was uh, a search incident um, to lawful arrest um, items in plain view, which um, this was actually in plain view. The uh, the melted device was in plain view. Uh, consent. Um, uh, stop and frisk. I guess the biggest piece of it was like a high pursuit or exigent uh, circumstances. Uh, if the police, um, for instance, are pursuing a suspect and, and, and the suspect enters private property, then police can continue to pursue and enter the private property without stopping to obtain a warrant. Uh, exigent circumstances, circumstances that require immediate attention, and the, the uh, subsequent, the subsequent call for service with the with the children, um, I believe, created an exigent. Um, uh, circumstance, um, and, and they could not they could not uh, forego rendering aid to uh, to the children uh, and responding to that call for service uh, because this actually ensured uh, public safety. Um, and immediate danger and immediate danger was present, um, and, and they also had a duty to act as well. Um, I do believe if if you allow me to to. I uh, admit this, uh, we will find that um, it will be pivotal in this case uh, of proving um, the allegations that, that are been, have been placed on this family. Thank you.